Hello everybody, my name is Trollmaker. I'm playing a game of Thrones Genesis. This is year 299, War of the Five Kings. Now keep in mind the game starts at nine, uh, negative 700. So this is about one millennium after the beginning of the game. Uh, so this mission we'll be doing is called Pillaging. Uh, Lord Beric, Dundarian led the survivors of the ambush at Mama's Ford against Lannister's forces and was declared an outlaw on King Robert's death. Fighting as the Brotherhood without banners, their sole aim was to prevent the small folk of the Red Fork from being savaged by the Lions. The Brotherhood were ill-armed and few in number, so Lord Beric Dundarian could not risk a pitched battle. They therefore harass their enemy in small groups. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we've kind of passed by uh, a lot of noted stuff in the uh, the book series and moved on to this. In which case we have um, kind of a different little story. Do the Lannister think they're free to put the whole countryside to fire and sword? We are the Brotherhood without banners, and I say to you that we shall not let the Lion plunder at will. We shall harass their forces until they are put to flight. We shall attack the wagons carrying the spoils of their pillaging. None must reach their castle. I'm counting on you, brothers. Fight with your hearts, and let us intercept the wagons. Okay. Wagons are leaving the village. We must take back what has been stolen. Yeah. At your command. Yeah. So Very intercept well. right here. We have a little bit of money to spend. So let's buy some archers. They do a lot of damage. And we'll set a rally right here. Uh so yeah, the uh the brother with their banners, generally speaking, in war, if you have no banner, it means you fight for nobody and you are a pirate. Yes, no banners equals pirates. Uh but in this case they're flying a banner to indicate that they are uh, uh, sorry, they're not flying a banner to indicate that they're rather neutral in this war. They don't care who wins, they just would rather have their own countryside. Ready. You know, be not ravaged Victory will be ours. Come on. Victory will be by ours. the uh, ravages Victory of war. Will. Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. My destination is clear, as soon as possible. Understood. As you, you can see me. Victory will be ours. Understood. My destination is clear. I'm on my Victory way. Will be I'm on my way. We will eliminate so yeah, this mission is actually pretty cool, and uh, I, I do like how the designers of this game actually uh, had a lot of creativity. I don't like that they made a crappy game, but I do like the fact that they had creativity. Uh, you know, they basically every time you kill one of these, you get money. So that's pretty cool, and uh, you can spend it on mercenaries, uh, which of course are not as good as armies, but still quite good. And you don't control any towns, you don't get any other resources, you're totally a pirate, and that's all you can be. Well done. However, we must not waste time. More wagons have just left this village. Okay, so that was the first yeah. place of battle, was right here, this little crossroads. Yeah. And so now we got to set up the second place, which is right here. And, uh... I think there's something in the way here, like one dude, maybe? Very well. We'll pick him off, because he's, you know on the way and once we get him picked off we can go ahead and kill areas other people so i have 800 bones to spend so i'm gonna need to get some mercenary knights they're quite expensive but they will pay themselves off in in gold gold doubloons pirates are and uh yeah there's a few opportunities and this is also you get to choose what kind of army you want to build which is pretty cool my destination is clear. Clear. I'm coming. So we'll set this up to be kind of an ambush. Yes. And in a typical ambush, you have your four, your non-mounted melee up front, you have your archers in the rear, and then you have your cavalry coming in for the kill. They will swoop in for the kill. And also have more cavalry coming to join the fray. As you wish. I'm listening. Victory will be ours. Victory will be ours. So yeah. All is as it ought to be. What is it you want? Victory will be ours. And that'll get rid of that. More money. I can see more wagons heading towards their castle. Okay, so uh, my well, next group of Victory units that I'll be making will be, will be for a different area. I want to have like the part after this is is uh, pretty favoritized towards splitting up your units. Victory will be yes. ours. Yes. We will eliminate that target. 
So a small little army here. Oh, we have a, another archer south. So what I'm trying to do is keep my cavalry keeping the archers from actually doing damage. And I'm going to use my archers as my main damage dealers. So I can just kind of split up and smash these guys in pretty good. As soon as possible. Okay, and now we'll just intercept over here. Hey ah! And hey ah! Victory will be ours. Yes. I'm coming. Understand. Don't want to have cavalry going too crazy. We will eliminate And these cavalry pick up the main target attacked. pretty quickly while the others engage this footman. We there will we go. Eliminate that target. We have blooded them all, but they take revenge upon the villagers. We must protect the king's people. We must prevent the Lannister from pillaging any village. If we manage to fend off three or four attacks, the lion will surely turn tail. He actually means the lesser. It's three attacks, not four. Uh, so we have an army to the south, and we'll be using them for that. And then we have this army here. Which we'll be putting up to here, where there will be clear. Uh, an attack sooner rather than later. Yeah. And there it is. Happened already. Very well. So yeah, there's also more I'm money coming through here. Oops, Understood. wrong way, wrong way. way. Yeah, there's more money coming we through here, so that's cool. That and uh, all the pathing makes sense. It's all cohesive and attacked. all that stuff. And we will yay, that more money target. for one more unit. Unfortunately, not a lot. And we'll set it up so that I have one army going for this one, I have one army going for this one, and then we will more or less converge on the point of this one where our last uh, rebellion will begin. And we should be able to get it all done in a decent amount of time so that I don't run out of time. But there's no real time-er, so I'm not sure if there is a real time limit or if it's all just a fake time limit. But regardless, we have just enough size armies for this. Four is way more than enough. There should be someone guarding this guard here. I'm coming. Up front. Let's see if we can find him first. There we go. And they fight separately, so that makes that easy. This one. And there should be a guard up front here. Yes. So let's see if we can find him first. And there he is. But we will have one of these guys here. I'm listening. Well, of course. Will be ours. I am being attacked. Yeah. I'm listening. We will eliminate that target. And that'll be two taken care of, basically. But I'm listening. There's one. Yeah. All done. And the second clear. one's over here, so we can link up our armies here for the third one. On my way. Even though it's not really necessary, I think wish. it's just this one guy here. And it says three or four. He actually means just three. There is no fourth. Ready. Yeah, it, this is a really creative approach to the mission. And all the missions in this game have been so hyper creative. But dear God, they could have made him a bit harder. Like that's the only real complaint I have of this game. Other than the fact that a lot of the uh, uh, gameplay three elements are not particularly hours. potent. But... Ready? They could have made this a lot longer of a game Victory will be by ours. just increasing the difficulty, actually making it uh, such nail-biting hard. Uh, this is just a tad bit easy for anyone who play, has played RTS games, and you tend to try and balance RTS difficulty in terms of people who play RTS games. If a good player who's played an RTS game isn't juggling, uh, it's not hard enough. And that's the case of this one. And that should be the end of the mission. Perfect! We have driven the Lannister from these parts. Hopefully their murderous folly will now cease. Victory! I just imagine he's going to drop this sword because he doesn't have a certain grip on it. That's my imagination, though.